people come here to get work done. This is not some place you come to mess around. It pretty much ticked off all the boxes for what I wanted. It's a very good blend of fun and academics. And there's always, you know, students walking around, there's always life activity going on on campus. There's always something being built at UT Dallas. And I say that's one of my favorite things because it shows you that this school is growing. It's just a gorgeous campus. Everything was so neat. I mean, the sidewalks were neat, the place was clean. A lot of classrooms uh, incorporate the latest technologies. I'm so sad to be leaving it behind because it's taught me so much and it's given me that really strong sense of community within it. I feel like I can make better connections with people or develop closer friendships. You know, I got to get involved in a lot of different organizations, like the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, Black Student Union, things like that. And I, I had a really great time meeting a ton of people across campus. Like, tell me what, what you're interested in and I'll point you in the right direction. Uh, something that's not necessarily talked about enough of when people talk about our school and people think about our school is the amount of kind of great people that go there. And just everybody being so different, but still having equal chance, still helping each other up the ladder. That like second family is definitely my favorite thing about UT Dallas. I will forever cherish those experiences. This has been such a great time for me to learn more about myself. And um, honestly, like, you know, it's hard going through that season of trying to discover who you are, but I'm gonna miss that so much. There's so much that you can get involved with. There's so many disciplines, there's so much variety. And just being able to get into that as an undergrad is so rewarding. UT Dallas not only gave me an education, but it also gave me a career. And I think that UT Dallas did a great job of showing me possible paths and um, giving me resources to explore those different paths. The thing I miss the most is the people. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss the people. You can actually develop those relationships with people around you and grow with them and graduate with them. And that's uh, that was my favorite part. I knew going in that uh, I was really interested in neuroscience, but at UTD, I got to meet a ton of really great professors and a lot of students that shared my passion for the subject. You know, without them and without the people on campus, it wouldn't have felt like that second home. The professors really, you know, encouraged us to not only get involved on campus, but also with professional organizations outside of UT. I'll never forget Professor Nelson in my psychology class. It was the first time I was panicking. I didn't have a babysitter for my kids. And he said, I would rather see your smiling face in class than you miss class because you don't have a babysitter. Dr. Fatima Sanapur of the Department of Mechanical Engineering uh, she was by far the most supportive, the, the friendliest uh, professor that would avail herself and do whatever needed to be done to support her students achieve success. We have professors from Australia, from Europe, from Tanzania, from India, from, I mean, everywhere. So you get this global perspective in your study. Students are constantly invited into meetings to share their share their mind and, and to be completely honest and I, I really really love that administration seeks out the opinions um good and bad of students this was definitely a very different you know less semester for all of us because we weren't expecting to be virtual you know spring 2020 had a little bit of quarantine we had all of quarantine i have always been the type of person that i just hated online classes so having to go online I really thought I was going to struggle, but actually it turned out really, really well. And I, I honestly believe that, that all the credit goes to faculty for just really showing up and showing out for their students. I thought the professors and the program, everyone was super flexible. They didn't let that stop us from graduating or from getting our work done. I can thank the UT Dallas leadership for being thoughtful about making all these arrangements. This, I guess, kind of taught us a really good lesson, you know, to be adaptable. That's, you know, like the unexpected can always happen regardless of what stage in our life we're on. The fact that we are here and we are graduating still, despite those circumstances, we're pulling through and that deserves a lot of credit. So congratulations to making it through. Congratulations, you know, <laughs> you made it. Congratulations to everyone and try plan those reunion once a year, I, I would love to join. <laughs> and by the way, this was all here before this. Whoosh. 
Hello, graduates of UT Dallas. I welcome all members of the class of 2020 to this celebration, whether you completed your studies in the spring, summer, or fall. From this day forward, you are officially alumni of one of the nation's brightest universities. Obviously, this virtual format is not the way you imagined your graduation. You rightfully had hoped to gather in our traditional manner. I'm standing in the atrium of the Visitor Center, an area that is the scene of many first arrivals at UT Dallas. Maybe you made a stop here in your first visit to campus. This is also the place where your family and friends would have gathered before taking a seat in the Activity Center to applaud and cheer you as you walked across the stage. Let me extend to you my heartfelt congratulations. You have completed your education during a time that has brought any number of challenges, but has also opened the doors for creative solutions in a world-changing experience. As we mark the beginning of your new journey, your life after earning your UT Dallas degree, I'd like for you, your family and friends, to join me in a special tour of our beautiful campus. We've chosen to highlight a few places that are meaningful to the Comet family. I'm sure that these, as well as many others, have been pivotal in your time with us. Right outside these doors is the path that takes you to the heart of campus, next to a row of reflecting pools lined with magnolias. Many of you relaxed on the stone benches while listening to the sound of the moving water. At the center of the campus, you met your friends at the plinth in the center of the Margaret McDermott Trellis Plaza. Maybe you watched a dance or musical performance while there. You may have popped into the student union to grab a cup of coffee or a bite to eat. Maybe you spent some time challenging a fellow Comet to a friendly game before moving on to a study session across the way in the Eugene McDermott Library. Not far from the library is one of the university's first major pieces of art, a 10 foot by 10 foot red steel sculpture affectionately known as the Love Jack. Once you and your friends finish studying, you may have dropped by Green Hall to take part in one of our traditions, rubbing the stone carving of Cecil Green's head for luck. It seems that students have decided that our co-founders continue to bestow favor, especially before exams. If you lived on campus, you are familiar with our residence halls and apartments. Many late night discussions, study sessions, and lifelong friendships were cultivated there. UT Dallas has continued to change during your time here, and there are a few places that you may not have visited yet. The new sciences building that opened this fall and the renovated gymnasium with its new floor that proudly proclaims that this is the home of the Comets. Speaking of home, let's not forget you took UT Dallas home with you for most of 2020. No doubt you will always remember this unique point when a computer portal made it possible to complete your education. I want to say job well done. Step by step, hour by hour, you have reached this moment, your moment to launch your future. It is my fervent hope that your time at UT Dallas has been but a prelude to a lifetime of learning and wonderment. Remember, UT Dallas will always be your home. And know that as alumni of this great university, you will always be welcome here. I sincerely hope that you will return often. And now, it is my privilege to introduce the Provost of the University of Texas at Dallas, Dr. Inga Musselman. Graduates, families, friends, and UT Dallas students, staff, and faculty, welcome to the University of Texas at Dallas virtual commencement. Our graduation ceremonies celebrate you as well as our university's resilience. You have helped to make our university a leading multifaceted teaching and research university. Teaching and research, that's what we do best. At UT Dallas, Teaching is a priority. We are awarding thousands of degrees, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in the fields of arts and humanities, arts, technology, and emerging communication, behavioral and brain sciences, economic, political, and policy sciences, engineering and computer science, interdisciplinary studies, management, and natural sciences and mathematics. Most of our students are Texans and as a state-supported public university, that is appropriate. But we also have an important contingent of students from across the United States and from around the world. Our student body provides UT Dallas with diversity that is characteristic of world-class universities. Because of this most unusual time in our nation's history, the class of 2020 will forever carry with it the cachet of a community
that is united with singleness of purpose to help you achieve your academic goals. So again, welcome graduates, families, and friends. I now have the privilege of introducing my colleagues, the deans of our eight schools, who wish to offer their congratulations. Class of 2020. You've shown your determination in completing your studies. You've achieved your goal. We applaud your perseverance. Your remarkable abilities, your bright futures. May you never stop learning. And may your path be a smooth one. You inspire us. Congratulations. Dr. Benson, it is our honor to present the graduates of the Eric Johnson School of Engineering and Computer Science the School of Arts, Technology, and Emerging Communication. The School of Economic, Political, and Policy Sciences. The Jindal School of Management. The School of the Arts and Humanities. The School of Natural Science and Mathematics. School of Interdisciplinary Studies. The School of Behavioral and Brain Sciences. It is now my honor to certify the candidates for undergraduate degrees. It is now my honor to certify the candidates who have completed all of their academic requirements and are entitled to receive their master's and doctoral degrees. Dr. Dr. Benson, Benson, on behalf of the faculty, I certify to you that those candidates who have completed all of their academic requirements are entitled to receive their respective degrees. Are entitled to receive their respective degrees. Now, by virtue of the authority vested by law in the Board of Regents of the University of Texas System, I confer upon each of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining thereunto, and I offer my sincere congratulations. In the live commencement ceremony, I would now ask you to stand for one last assignment, the act of moving your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left. Now that you are alumni, your tassels will always be worn on the left, aligned with your heart. I also invite you to turn your class ring so that it faces away from you to point outward towards your future, symbolically pointing to your place in the larger world of UT Dallas alumni. This day marks a wonderful milestone not only in your lives but also in the life of the university. I wish you all the best as you go into your new lives as graduates of the University of Texas at Dallas. Enjoy your celebration with your family and friends and return to us soon. And now please enjoy a performance of the UT Dallas alma mater. Whoosh.